Hey guys, welcome back. This is Sarah or Sachu or Sarah Chung. And today we'll be reviewing Rare Beauty, Selena Gomez makeup line. And I'm so excited. I haven't been excited to review some new makeup line since Fenty Beauty. There are a lot of really interesting products. Also, I purchased everything myself. I literally just went to Sephora first thing in the morning and picked all this up. So yeah, I'm just gonna cut to the chase, do a full face of Rare Beauty, starting with the primer. This is called the Always an Optimus Illuminating Primer, and I heard so many good things about it. I got the travel size because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, so I didn't want to commit to the full bottle. And I've heard so many good things about it, mainly that it makes you look dewy. It doesn't smell Oh my god, is this fragrance free? I'm applying this all over my face and you can already see. This is so glowy. I remember a lot of people saying that this primer is shimmery, but I don't see that at all. Maybe it's just so small or my eyesight's getting worse, but it doesn't look glittery. Holy, look at this do. If I was actually just using this for myself, I would probably just concentrate on the cheeks and not so much on the forehead because I blocked the hell out of my forehead anyway. I hope it's translating on camera. I'm actually using a better camera than my usual camera because I want y'all to see all the details. I don't think this primer is too glittery or shimmery at all. I think it gives a really natural, beautiful, dewy finish. And it's not sticky, there's no offensive scent. It's basically everything I want in a primer. Maybe if they added SPF, it would be even better. But honestly, as a cosmetic product, this is so beautiful. It reminds me of the Glossier Future Dew, but better. It doesn't make your skin feel weird. My skin feels very hydrated. This is a 10 out of 10 product. I would definitely use this more. Damn, that's a really strong way to start a, um, review. Next up, we have their Liquid Touch Foundation. I heard, now this is just a rumor, I don't think this has been confirmed by the brand, but I heard that this handle is made specifically like this to help people who have arthritis. And honestly, it wouldn't be surprising to me because I think Selena really wanted this makeup line to be accessible. Rare Beauty actually launched the Rare Impact Fund, which plans to raise $100 million to provide mental health services to underserved communities. And 1% of all sales will go to this fund. And their goal is to increase access to mental health resources, which I think is amazing. I think this is what makes me not see this as just another celebrity cash grab. I can see that she put a lot of thought into the product and there's a purpose behind the line and it really aligns with what we know she's been going through the last couple of years. I think that incorporating a conversation of mental health into a beauty line is, I just think it has a really positive message, which I love. Anyway, back to this foundation. I am in the shade 190W, pour a little bit out onto my hand. This foundation retails for $29 and they have 48 shades, which is absolutely amazing. I got shade match for this at Sephora and I'm gonna apply this with their Liquid Touch Multitasking Makeup Sponge. This sponge is retailing for $14, which honestly seems a little bit pricey. I'm going to keep blending this in, but my first impressions is, I don't wanna say it. <laughs> It's a little bit blotchy. First of all, the coverage I think is really good, especially for kind of a serum foundation. It's definitely buildable. I put a little bit more over here to hide some redness and you can definitely layer it on. What I don't like is that it really is not great at hiding texture at all. In fact, I think it emphasizes texture. So this is what it looks like with one layer. Maybe I'm just nitpicky, but around the nose here, I think you can see a lot of texture. And over here, there are some dry patches, which I already had, but it definitely didn't help. I have some foundations like the Hydrating Fenty Beauty Foundation that can really just lay everything down and not mess with the dry patches, but this did not do that. But I do really enjoy the color and coverage, so I'm gonna keep working with this. Next, I'm gonna try their concealer. Packaging is just so aesthetic. For concealer, I'm using the shade 170W, which is a little bit lighter than my foundation. I'm just gonna dot this right here. I have dry skin, and I just do a little bit better with sponges in general. This is how the concealer sits on my skin. It's still a little blotchy for me. I think you can really tell when I do this, like right here. I'm gonna try my best to blend it out a little bit, especially look over here. Okay, overall, I think the foundation gets a seven out of 10. I think the packaging is beautiful. I think the coverage is great. I think if you really don't have any texture, or dry skin, this can look beautiful on you, but it's not for everybody. For the concealer, I would actually give this a 7.5. Given you're wearing the right foundation underneath, I think this can look really beautiful. These two, I think, are very similar to Kosas. They're oil tint and bright concealer. They both have a more of a serum -y, kind of oily type of base, but the Rare Beauty concealer and foundation definitely separates a lot more and clings on to dry patches or texture if you have it. So, not the best. I. 
Don't know if it's because I started off so strong with the primer that now all my hopes are up, but it's okay. We're gonna keep going. Now I'm going to try the Positive Light Liquid Luminizer. This is a very pearly, oh, look how beautiful. This is a pearly shade. And again, in a doe foot applicator, I'm just gonna dot some right here. Oh, I think it's gonna look really pretty. Yep, I'm gonna love this. I can already tell. It has the same oily, serum-y feel as the foundation and concealer, but with this, I think it's because it's not so much of a coverage and complexion product that it's not a problem. It actually makes it blend really beautifully. It also gives the same glow as the primer, but more intense, so I love this. I think a nine out of 10. Now, I absolutely love a good liquid blush so i picked up both of the formulas they had they have one that's matte and they have one that's dewy for the matte one i picked up the shade bliss it's a really beautiful nude peachy coral i think it's their lightest matte shade so i'm going to try that on this side of the cheek i'm applying it in an upward motion because almond's not contouring today so we're going to use the help of a little blush okay this has a very different formula from everything else i've tried this is very powdery it almost feels like a powder blush it feels like i'm blending in a powder blush with my fingers but i really like it i really like it it feels like the type of blush that would stay on your cheek all day this has the color of a powder blush but the blendability of a liquid blush now on my left cheek i'm going to try the dewy formula this is in the shade joy just gonna do a couple dots don't you just love the names joy bliss i'm gonna tap this in now this one feels like the serum oil formula we've been getting from the foundation and concealer this one is a lot harder to blend <laughs> what um Okay, we need the help of the sponge. This is not blending out, so I'm gonna need a couple dots of concealer to hide this because my cheeks are really red. I think this is very interesting because they're both liquid blushes, but one is so much easier to blend than the other. With the dewy blush, you definitely don't wanna wait to blend. Uh, that was a lot. The Sephora employee told me the shade Joy is their most popular shade because this is the one that was worn by Selena in the campaign. Both of these blushes are sold for $20 each and the highlighter is $22. Now we're gonna try their Brow Harmony Pencil and Gel. I got the shade Cool Brown and I'm just going to draw little brow hairs. Okay, I tried to do a really fluffy brow. Now I'm gonna use the other end to brush up my brow hairs. This sells for $22, kind of similar to Anastasia Beverly Hills. A little bit more expensive than Sephora collection prices. I think it does do a really beautiful natural brow look, but a lot of products can do that, so I don't think it's a game changer, but it's definitely a good natural brow product. The brow gel in particular has a lot of pigment, so it did make my little non-existent brow hairs look a little bit more existent. Ooh, next, this is something that I'm very intrigued by. This is their Blot and Glow Touch-Up Kit. This sells for $26. I've always thought it would be so cool if someone created a product like this. First of all, the packaging is absolutely stunning. It looks like a really pretty sunglass case. And this is what it looks like. A little mirror, powder puff, and blotting sheets. And they do sell refills for this one. Now, I'm interested in how this works. There's no powder here, so I think it's inside of the puff. Is that is that how it works? So they want you to use the blotting sheet first, so that's what I'll do. Didn't really pick up any oil, but I literally just put on this makeup so there's not much to blot. And I'm going to dab this pre-filled powder puff over shine prone areas. So right here is where, ooh, did it do something? Because when I press it on my hand, I don't see any product at all. Am I blind? You think it's taking away shine? If it is, I don't think it's the powder. I think it might be just foundation transferring on here. I don't really think it's doing any heavy duty blotting. If you're really oily, um, this is probably not gonna work. I'm gonna have to test this out more when maybe once I've tried wearing this foundation for a full day and then seeing if this actually can take away shine that way. It's just this makeup is fresh, so I don't think I'm giving it a fair shot. Next up, we have Lippies. This is their With Gratitude Dewy Lip Balm. This is what it looks like, and this really reminds me of Fenty Beauty. <laughs> you know their Match 6 packaging? And I got this in the shade Blessed. And I'm just going to dab this on. This actually has a lot of pigment. I thought it was going to be like a tinted lip balm, but it feels more like a sheer lipstick. Pretty cute. I don't hate it. This retails for $16 and this has a magnetic 
closure. It's not as hydrating as I wanted it to be, but it does have a nice flush of color. It reminds me a lot of Glossier Generation G, which y'all know I love. I just expected it to be more like a lip balm than a lipstick. Now, lastly, I'm so excited to try these. These are their Lip Souffle Matte Lip Cream. I love products like these. I think they're gonna be similar to the Ultra Blotted Lip or Ultra Satin Lip by ColourPop. I'm just gonna wipe that lip balm away. Do a couple lip swatches. We're gonna start off with the shade Energize. This is one of their most popular shades. And now we're gonna try the shade Ascend. Last but not least, we have the shade Inspire, which is the color I think she was wearing in the photo shoots. I think this might be my favorite shade, which is surprising because I don't usually wear shades like these. And that is it. This is my full face of rare beauty. I literally did not use anything that was not part of the collection. All in all, I think my favorites definitely have to be the primer. Primer was just everything. I think that if you like a dewy makeup look, it's a must have product. The highlighter is absolutely beautiful. I think it would look beautiful on bare skin or on top of foundation. The matte blush is also amazing i think that a lot of liquid blushes tend to have a little bit too much shimmer and they become really hard to blend it almost has like a gel like consistency and becomes really difficult to blend it into the skin and i think that the matte blush was very easy to blend it has a beautiful flush of color and it's still looking so pretty the matte lip cream is also absolutely wonderful it reminds me of the nyx matte lip creme but it smooths out the lip a lot more it's kind of like the ColourPop ultra blotted lip but a little bit more pigmented and a little bit more hydrating if you want to add a little bit of color to your lip collection i think this is a wonderful product to use and as you can see this doesn't have any shine but it also doesn't make your lips look dead like it's a really nice in between i love this formula the skin product unfortunately the foundation and concealer were not my favorite just personally for my skin tone and skin texture i have a lot of dry patches i have dry skin and the foundation and concealer kind of brought out the texture and made it really hard to blend because of the blotchiness but all in all i think it's a really nice collection the skin products you would have to try yourself and the great thing is sephora always has free samples and i say this every time but your skin is unique to you and to see if a foundation is going to work on you the best way to try it is just to get a sample i definitely think the collection is worth checking out and i definitely don't think it's just glossier 2.0 i think there's more space for everyday makeup products and i can tell a lot of thought has been put into this collection and there were definitely a lot of hits in this makeup line so so yeah, that is my review. I hope you like this look. Let me know your thoughts on this makeup line. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.